Uh, what's up guys, Come in here and uh, I have whipped myself into making this, I tell you. Um, first of all, yeah, sorry, it's been a while since I posted a video, but I've been going through some personal shit. Um, so I've been um, just trying to get myself in order. And I decided to make this video because, quite frankly, it's been I've been telling myself to do this for a while and um, it's been hard pushing myself to do it for reasons I'll get into. But basically, uh, this video is mainly addressed to a lot of my friends, my real life friends and uh, my uh, YouTube followers as well. Um, some of them, uh, well, everyone really, but many of this is mainly uh, towards my friends. Basically. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, basically, do you know when, do you know when in life you you sort of look back and you realize that you've been re leading the doing the complete fucking wrong thing, and life has been giving these messages that hey hey you need to be doing something different, and you've just been ignoring them. And uh, my analogy for this, well, first of all, my my one was not letting my friends in. Now, uh, since I got sick all those years ago, I, I slowly devolved to the point where it became almost impossible to see people without experiencing fuck loads of, of anxiety. And uh, so I, uh, that and I also found that I was developing all these really antisocial uh, tendencies and, 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 and habits that I, quite frankly, felt bad that I was doing. So I locked myself away. I decided to work on myself, but unfortunately, my mistake was that I, I, I locked myself in my house with my family, and some of you guys know me and my family aren't exactly the fucking best thing. So I ended up locking myself away with people, the very people who I tried not to become. And uh, after a while, I, you know, I made progress. I reversed my anxiety, got it back again, reversed my autism permanently, and made some real progress. Did loads of research, but after a while. You know, I started to realize, I started to self-sabotage. I was getting to the point where I needed to be in and I was sabotaging myself. And I realized that I, I basically locked myself away from the very people who could have actually helped me through it. I locked myself away from the very people who could have, you know, given me the support to go, to get through. Because, I mean, shit, man, like, trying to, trying to transform your life from, like, zero, you know, from, like, an emotional perspective. It's hard, and trying to do it by yourself is even harder. And trying to do it by yourself with there's people around you telling you how fucking you shouldn't be doing it, just to put it lightly, is fucking impossible. And I realized that I, 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 I shouldn't have done it. And this is like three years on, you know, I've moved on with my life, doing other things, but like I'm still struggling with the same issues. And I'm thinking back to all those times and my friends are basically saying, you know, you know, would you want help? You know, what's up? Come, come over, come visit. And I just, I just, you know, because in my mind, I was like, all I need to do is get to like day 30 or day 40. All I need to, you know, fasting and getting my physical health in order. Because when your physical health is fixed, then your emotional health also comes with it. Literally, you can reverse your own anxiety and depression. The guys, if, if you're all new to my channel, you should know that I've already talked about this in length. In fact, I even made videos about when it actually happened. Um, but, uh, you know, but I kept self-sabotaging. And I realized is that I, I locked myself off from the very people who could actually give me meaning give me meaning to keep going because once you've got rid of it it's like what now you need to do something else you know you need to you need to move on because i've been doing this for like a decade you know it's just 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 a decade i've been f solely focused on it this is why you know i know all this stuff about health nutrition and psychology and spiritual blah, blah, blah. but because i've been just been focusing on it but i've just been just it blocked it blotted out the people who could have helped me through those last steps and um i have an analogy for this actually it's like imagine if you're living in, in a house by yourself and uh, you all of a sudden you decide to just lock the doors, don't go outside. You know you're you're self sufficient. You have your own constant supply of food and water, and you can basically live there like indefinitely till you die. The one problem is that you don't take the trash out. So you lock the door from everyone else, and then and and then you don't take the trash out. And in this analogy, the trash is like all your emotional baggage and stuff like that. So you don't take it out, and and so you can't take it out, and it's always there. It's always there. You're always dealing with it, and you're sort of locked with it. Eventually, the trash gets smellier and smellier and smellier to the point where it just permeates the house from room to room. And it's just so bad. And you're locked in your, th your, 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 your house doing your own thing. And the trash gets so bad that it actually leaks outside. And, you know, there are people outside like, what the fuck? <laughs> and those people are my friends. It's like, they're just like, dude, like, we smell trash. Like, do you need help? <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't need any help. I'll do this by myself. I'll see you later. I'll see you in like two fucking years. 
Um, and it just gets smaller and smaller to the point where it's unbearable and you can't, you physically cannot deal with it anymore. And, uh, this is the, and that's the point that I reached. It's like, I didn't realize that I'd, I'd, I'd lock myself in and I didn't let people in. And, and that's the key. You know, if you want to take out the trash, if you want, if you want to deal with your shit, you've got to open the door. You know, you can't take out the trash unless you open the door. So this is what I'm doing. I'm opening the door, you know, I'm just, just fuck, man. There, there, there are so many, so many just thinking about all those years or, you know, my friends are trying to help me and, you know, saying, do you want to go out? But at the time I was like, you know, I mean, there was a legitimate reason for it, man. I, I went through a lot to the point where like almost every single social engagement, you know, even though, I, even though I looked happy, I was seething. I was seething. I was just so, just feeling in so much pain. And I, I, you know, it wasn't there for, it was, you know, the problems with the you know, guard issues and anxiety issues and God, the list goes on. Um, and so it, it just became to the point where social, social, social engagements were actively painful. Uh, it was painful to be around people. And I was just, and while I was, and while I was there, I was putting on this mask all the time and it hurt, you know, it hurt because I was afraid of people seeing my pain. And I was afraid of people seeing my pain because when I grew up, whenever I expressed my emotions truly, I was shot down, like sometimes aggressively. And it was like, so I just became this person. It's like, nope, I don't have to show my, 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 I don't have to show my pain to people. I just have to suck it up, ignore everyone and try and deal with it myself. Didn't work. <laughs> and it's one of those like common running themes where you're just like, you know, you can't, you can't do it by yourself. You can't, you can't fucking do it by yourself. You know, you, you really can't. Um, you know, some people can, some people can like, you know, live in a forest by themselves, but I'm not, I'm not that kind of person. I love people. I love people. And people love me, like, you know, I, I, I get along with almost everyone that I meet. And, 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 and that's not because of a, I want people to like me. So I've sort of developed a personality that's, you know, that will everyone likes. It's like, I physically enjoy being around people. I'm just cracking jokes all the time at work, man. You know, it's like queues of people just bellowing their heads off. And I'm just chatting shit at the till. <laughs> you know, like, I love people. I feel energized when I'm around people. And I have, I feel motivation when I go home to keep pursuing my issues. And I cut myself off from that. And I can't do it anymore. It's it's like it's like the trash got so got so smelly that I I can't do it. So I'm sorry, guys. You know, you guys reached out to me and thank. I, I'm talking to my, my my like like IRL friends. Thank you for putting up with my bullshit for so long. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with my bullshit for so long, man. Fuck. Oh god, um, I have a lot of people to message, I have a lot of people to get in touch with, and this video is reaching the point whereby it's just going to get too long. So uh, so back to my YouTube uh, followers, uh, I will be posting more videos starting from tomorrow, um, even to the point, and that's also something else too, is that I would, I, would, I, would, I, would do, I, would, I would relapse and then I'd sort of not post on YouTube, and so I wouldn't then get the support there as well, I'd just sort of lock myself up and just not post a video for like 2-3 weeks, but you know, that's, fucking, you know, you, you, I've said this before, man. Deal with your shit. You know, there's something in your life, there's something in everyone's life that they're not dealing with. And that trash will get smellier and smellier to the point where something, either something bad will happen or you'll suddenly wake up and find yourself in a really, really shit situation. You know, you're working as some shitty job, married to someone you don't like, with kids you never even wanted. And you're like, oh, oh, because I didn't deal with my shit. You know, like that, that stuff happens all the time. You're just really fucking miserable. You know? Deal with it, man. Because... It'll deal with you if you don't. Or you can ignore it for all your time and you'll commit the sin of having kids. Sin of having kids and that you should not at that point have had kids because you would have then passed on all your shit that you haven't dealt with to your kids. And it, fuck, man. And we all deal with that. So deal with your shit. And yeah, that's it. Freeman out. Peace.